All right, welcome to this episode of Fish and Grills. Today we got some soaked and smoked char siu fish and taco. Everybody stay tuned. For this episode of Fishing Girls! Ah! Octopus are part of the cephalopod family, which includes squid, cuttlefish, and nautiloids. The octopus will take about up to one year to fully mature. And in Hawaii, to harvest them, they need to be over one pound. The pregnant female will carry its eggs up to 10 months until they hatch. One female can lay about 70,000 eggs. One of the many ways to dispatch octopus quickly is to bite the brain, which is between the eyes and about an inch in. When an octopus attacks its prey, it'll inject toxic saliva, turning the flesh into jelly and allowing them to eat it. Octopus's siphon has many purposes. It's used to shoot ink at predators so that it can escape, to breathe in water, and it's used as a jet when swimming. Welcome back everybody. We're back in the kitchen. We have our tacos here and I'm going to show you how to take the guts out in one piece. Stay tuned. Pay attention.
All right, now that we have our guts out, all clean, ready to go. Now we're gonna pound them and make them soft. Okay, not rocket science. Pounding it, literally, we're just pounding it, okay? Pay attention. Very simple, very complicated. Okay, grabbing it by the head. We're gonna go up and down six inches. That's all it is, six inches. Okay, six inches does a lot of damage. Okay, take notes. We're gonna go up and down about a thousand reps. We get all the slime off. And we're gonna look for a nice curl in the legs. When the, her legs is curling, you know you're hitting the right spot. And just keep on going. Stay tuned. All right, you see this foam? That's how you know you're doing a good job. Okay, let's keep going. Nine hundred ninety-nine, one thousand. Right, I got some curls in there. I got most of the foam out. That's all the slime. So we're gonna give it a nice rinse. We're gonna chop off the legs, chop the head. I'm gonna put it in our Ziploc for soaking for two days. All right, let's cut this into sections. That was kind of aggressive, yeah. <laughs> Okay, step one, get your taco and put it in the Ziploc. Step two, we're gonna go with Lum's char siu sauce. Put them straight in. Mix, mix, mix. Some chili pepper flakes. Mix, mix, mix. Step three, soak for three days. Stay tuned. And like with most of our dishes, this is all trial and error. This is the first time we're actually gonna try smoking nine eye. So I have a couple of nine eyes here from our previous dive. I'm gonna fillet it, cut it into strips, and I'm also gonna soak it in some Lum's char siu sauce. We're gonna throw that on the fire. You see how it comes out. I soak it whole. Just quick sprinkle, garlic, salt, pepper. Oh, I think I got it. Seal tight. So we have our Hey, hey, aka Taku, aka Michael Jackson's. Why do you call it Michael Jackson's? Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so everything's gonna go in the fridge for about two days, and it's already on a fire. Stay tuned. So our taco and the fish have been soaking for two days. Our fire is just about ready. We're gonna smoke it for about an hour. Bing, bang, boom. Stay tuned. 
All right, so our fire is hot and ready to go. So I'm gonna spread it out to the outside. I'm gonna leave the inside open. So it's not direct flame, it's gonna be heat coming from the outside in. So more of our smoke rather than a, a hibachi. All right, welcome back. The fire is all hot, ready to go, and it's throwing a taco. All that char siu is gonna get into all those little pores. Hi! Yeah. Well, yep, you're, you're in the scene. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and for a side dish, we have some squid luau. Oh, oh, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh it's just like chicken. <laughs> and for a side dish, <laughs> squid luau. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so our char siu taco is just about done. Our char siu fish just got done. So this is probably gonna go for another couple minutes. You can see the tips are already kind of charred, which is perfect. And we'll wait, we're gonna wait till our the base of it gets a little bit more cooked. We're gonna chop it up real nice. We're gonna eat it with some squid luau with some sad rice. Alright, now for another side dish, we got Kalua horse, of course. So we're gonna throw this on the fire, warm this up. Don't worry, we didn't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this all warmed up, ready to go. And it's gonna be my first time eating a horse. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Give me that piece for that. Oh my god. So our taco is just about done. Everyone says it's great. So we're gonna put it in the pan. We're gonna chop it up. We're gonna wait for this horse meat to warm up. Then we're eat everything together. Look at that. Alright. And for our last dish, these have been also soaking in the, the char siu too. So we're gonna just smoke these up. For his IG. For the soft taste tester. <laughs> taste tester. That's right. Hi. Some for you. So this is our horse meat. So we're gonna dig in and let's see how it goes. So I got a, I got a nice bite here. Looks like a little pig, maybe. Looks like a sweet little pig. I like it. It's good. All right, horse off the list. Who's next? You gonna try? <laughs> yeah. Same, same, but different. Put it in your hand and just pop your phone. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yeah it is sweeter. That is good. Not bad. Alright. Side dish, horse meat. Of course, of course. Thanks for joining us today. Good times, good rhymes, and good people. And always... Tune in to the next episode of... Fish and Grills! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like with most for... I like with both words. <laughs>
I like with most of our dishes, this is all trial and error. This is the first time we're actually gonna try smoking 99. 